Hi, I'm Dave, Fell Running Guide. What you can see here are two optical heart rate sensors, um, specifically armbands. So on the right hand side, I've got the Cuspo HW9. I've just received that, I've not, uh, not tested it yet. And on the left hand side, I've got the Coros heart rate monitor armband, and I've been using that for probably over a year now. So the Coros is paired with the Apex 2 Pro watch and the Cuspo is paired with my Garmin Phoenix 5. So I'm going to be comparing these. I'm going to be wearing them uh, for the same run. So I'll have the Coros on my left bicep, the Cuspo on my right bicep and um, obviously wear both watches at the same time and record. And I'm going to do some easy running, some faster pace running, some hard running, some intervals and compare the results that I get from each sensor, see how well they uh, correlate with each other. Does one react faster than the other? Is what Does one look like it's more reliable? Um, and yeah, we'll see what results we get. Okay, so I've just had an easy walk to where I'm gonna start my run. The Coros is reading 60. Let's have a look at the Garmin, yeah. So those are agreeing with each other at the moment. I'm going to start running now. Okay, just done some easy paced running. And they are both about 128, 130 beats per minute. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to run fast up that steep incline and see what happens uh, on both monitors. Okay, so this section is the very short sharp uphill almost sprint that i did so here they're both reading 80 white two beats per minute you can see here the gray trace on the left this is the cuspo reacts much more quickly so there i'm up to 122 beats per minute whereas the coros is lagging behind at 90 beats per minute um, and the Cuspo peaks up here, 128, and then starts coming back down. Whereas, look, the um, the chorus is only at 94 beats per minute there. And then where they actually catch each other up is at that point there, about 118 beats per minute. But the chorus continues to rise after that, even though I'd stopped the rep. Um, the chorus continues to rise right up here up to 139 beats per minute um, so I'm not quite sure what was happening there and then I, I set off run again easy run and they're kind of close together on this bit so this section here this very short section here is that fast rep and we can see that the CUSPA reacts much more quickly than the Coros does okay so I've been running around fairly steady for a while, a bit stop-start checking things and the two sensors have read within a probably a couple of beats of each other. So what I'm going to do now is a harder, probably around five minute effort and see how they react. Um, I won't be able to video this because I'll be running fairly fast but I'll uh, put the graphs up at the end and see how they've done. Okay so Hard effort done. My observations were that the Cuspo took a lot longer to climb up and reach heart rate. The Coros reacted much more quickly, but then they were pretty much in step, um, both peaking at around about 173 beats per minute and now as I'm stood, they're just dropping off again. So I'll put that data on the chart. Okay, so the point that I'm referring to there is here. This is where I was stood just at the start of the, the five minute hard effort. Now, interestingly here, when I set off the blue trace here, the Coros reacted much more quickly. So we can see here, the Cuspo actually had my heart rate decrease, dropped down to 93 beats per minute, um, whereas the chorus was recording 139. So here we can see there's a, a quite a big gap between the two. 
But then up here, they come together, stabilise, and from then on, pretty close together. That's the end of the rep there, where I said both reach about 174 beats per minute, and then the trace is very close together as it drops down. So on this particular instance, the Koros reacted quicker on the way up, then they stabilised, and then they were the same on the way down when I stood at the the top of the incline and my heart rate was just decreasing again it decreases all the way down pretty much in step down to about 115 beats per minute here okay I've just done a hard short uphill effort taking the watches off and just comparing the response time in terms of how quickly they drop so on the right you can see Crispo dropping back down much more quickly. The Coros thinks I'm sort of 140 odd beats per minute. Now the difficulty is, I guess, knowing which one of these to believe. I've already done some testing with the Coros armband against the Garmin chest strap and I am much more likely to believe a chest strap but uh, definitely some interesting comparisons you can see that they've uh, they've caught up with each other now okay so this was a final hard rep so uphill fairly close to each other matching each other and then this is the point that I'm talking about here see the grey the cuspo the um, start to record a much quicker drop in heart rate so there look 139 on the Cuspo 160 on the Coros and then way down here look that's the point the Cuspo has got me down at 109 beats per minute and the Coros is still recording in the 140s um, so again the Coros lag lags behind the Cuspo um, on that recovery there and then this is the final easy run that I did um, just to finish off and they are pretty much in line okay so an overall summary comparing the two armbands tended to find that the Coros lagged behind it was less responsive than the Cuspo so here on the very short rep here on some um, changing pace running and here on that end of um, a short hard rep where it lagged behind in recovery time however there was one instance where it was a cuspo that lagged behind and that was on the the longer hard interval um, for some reason it dropped down when I'd started the interval and took a while to catch up from then on it was in step with the Coros so findings well you can make your own mind up as to what you think on that what I found in general with um, heart rate armbands is that they uh, uh, seemed quite accurate on steady state running but they too, do take time to react to changes of intensity so that might be increasing the pace or going up an incline decreasing the pace or coming to a, a stop they um, they don't react as quick as a, a chest strap does so you might want to um, not use or not rely on armband heart rate for shorter intervals um, we use it more for um, steady steady state running um, but yeah that's my findings for now I hope you found it interesting thanks for watching